I'm really proud of everybody up here because this is a very, very good resolution of what were really monumentally difficult problems, especially uh, Senators uh, Rockefeller and Hutchison and Nelson, uh, and of course Vitter as well, and then of course my colleague Bob Bennett. Uh, uh, all of us have worked very hard to try and resolve some of these problems, and, and frankly this whole group uh, uh, has really busted its pick to try and get to this resolution which basically helps to preserve our system the way it should be preserved. Let me just say a few more things about this because it's a, it's a very, very important day uh, to those of us uh, in Utah as well as these other folks. Six months ago, the administration announced the cancellation of Project Constellation. To many, this was the end of an era, the end of uh, manned space flight and the end of civilian solid rocket motor production. However, today we are taking a major step away from the edge of what I consider to be an abyss. So what does this bill accomplish? First, it is important to remember it's not a 100 percent solution to all of the issues regarding solid rocket motor industrial, uh, uh, the, that the solid rocket motor industrial base is facing. However, included in the NS NASA uh, authorization bill, which was reported out of the Senate Commerce Committee just this morning, are provisions for a new space launch system. This system will be a government-owned civil launch system developed, managed, and operated by NASA to serve as a key component in our quest to expand the human presence beyond low Earth orbit. In order to accomplish this mission, the Commerce Committee's bill has established certain requirements which the system must meet. After speaking with experts in Utah, it is their conclusion that these requirements can only be realistically accomplished by using solid rocket motors. For example, the bill requires a rocket which can lift a payload between 70 to 100 tons and integrate that system with an upper earth departure stage, which will bring the total uh, lift capability of the space launch system to 130 tons or more. Based on these requirements, the Utah experts I've conferred with believe solid rocket motors should play a fundamental role in achieving these objectives. However, we must not get ahead of ourselves. This is only the first step in the legislative process, and nothing is final until it's signed into law. And even then, we will have to be vigilant. In addition, I'm still working on, and uh, Senator Bennett and I are still working on resolving a technical matter with the committee. Yet for the first time in six months, we believe we have some really outstanding good news about the future of NASA's manned sp space flight program and maintaining our civilian solid rocket motor industrial base. So I just can't be complimentary enough about the folks that are standing here and Senator Rockefeller's left, but uh, his leadership as well. And we're very grateful to see this uh, done in a way that really is going to keep us preeminent in the world in uh, manned space, space flight. And it uh, wouldn't have happened but for the people here.